Hi everybody, welcome back to Burst TV. February is National Children's Dental Health Month. So you might notice that Burst and Burst TV have been doing a few things dedicated to the kiddos. But what about that in-between stage where they're not quite adults yet, not quite ready to take on the responsibility of really taking care of themselves, yet they think they can. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about teenagers. As a parent and as a dental hygienist, I have a good understanding of the unique issues that start to arise with this age range that I'd like to share with you. So first, let's talk about habits. The challenge with a teenager is that you might be trying to help them just like you've been doing for years, but at the same time, you wanna teach them to be more independent. And honestly, you're probably getting tired tired of nagging, tired of repeating yourself. They're also getting tired of hearing it. Hey, did you brush your teeth? Like I'm brushing my teeth too. It's a cool, it's a cool thing to do. Everybody's doing it. You feel great. You feel up to you. One man's you brush your teeth? No. Are you gonna brush your teeth? You got a floss too. Okay, get up and do that before you go to bed. Did you brush your teeth this morning? Yes. Did you floss last night? Yes. So if I were to look in the trash can, I would find a dirty piece of floss or a floss holder. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't see one. Where is it? No, I did not. Can you stop? Now, it's not every teen. Some 15 year olds love brushing and they think flossing makes their gums feel great. I'd love to poll the audience right now. Does your teenager brush and floss really well on their own? Please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. My friend Kenda, she's a fellow burst ambassador and dental hygienist. She made a really cute TikTok and it makes a good point about how we as parents need to lead by example. I know I'm super warm. I know I'm strong. I know I've got this because I've had. I totally agree with her on this because what person wants to be told what to do, but then sees their parent not listening to their own advice? So they're old enough to notice and they might even point it out, which is okay. Even when you don't think they're listening and watching, trust me, they are. And although they probably won't admit that you're right, they are taking mental notes. So the first major step toward helping your teen create better habits is definitely to practice what you preach. If you don't floss, they probably won't either. Now, what's nice is there are a ton of other tools out there besides string floss that make cleaning in between your teeth easier, sometimes kind of cool. There are floss picks, floss holders, and of course, I gotta put in a good word for water flossers, like the burst water flosser. I'm not saying I hear it every day, but sometimes I do, and when I do hear it in the other room, it makes me so happy. So let's talk about the notion that teenagers are lazy and they just don't wanna brush and floss well, or clean their room, or pick that giant pile of laundry off the floor for the 15th time this week. Here's the harsh reality. Teenagers are hormonal, they are developing physically and mentally at an alarming rate. But because all of this is happening, their mouths are susceptible to more infections and decay. And I think it's really important for all teens to learn about the link between their mouth and the rest of their body from a professional as well as their parents. Because repetition helps, helps it stick. And because sometimes when they hear it from mom or dad, it just sounds like a lecture. So getting them to the dental office twice a year will not only let the staff there screen them for problems, but it'll also reiterate the need for great home care habits. Now, for all my dental professional friends watching this, I think it's super important for all of us to be vigilant and find creative ways to connect with teen patients and help them understand consequences of poor oral hygiene and bad habits without making it sound like just another lecture. Now, I love what social media has brought to the table. Even if some parents don't appreciate TikTok or Instagram, there are some dentists and hygienists, orthodontists out there that are getting seen. Their channels are loaded with millions of teenage followers and really, really great content. 
Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. <laughs> How would they know? When these kids are wondering about tooth related stuff, they'll most likely turn to their phones and the internet for answers. So as goofy as it may sound, you can teach them through the channels that they're already watching. So if you have an Instagram or TikTok account and you see something that's catchy, that's tooth related, just send them the link. You don't have to say anything else. So there are other teenager specific high risk issues that we should all be aware of. Diet is a big one. You may try to steer them in the right direction, but teenagers will find ways to drink more soda, eat more carbs, and not drink enough water. And as we know, anything with sugar increases their risk for cavities and the lack of enough H2O leaves their mouth dry and again, more susceptible to decay. So even if they don't or won't brush their teeth well twice a day, here's a cool pro tip. We can all greatly decrease our risk of decay if we swish really hard with water after every single snack or drink that's not water. So how about all of these other situations that come up in the teen years? We've got braces, wisdom teeth, mouth piercings, eating disorders, medications, and increased contact sports. It's a lot. So we're going to need to cover each one of those in their own first TV segment here on this channel. Really any of those things I mentioned so far can make it more difficult for teenagers to keep their mouths healthy. So let us know which one you think we should tackle first. And if you're an expert on the topic, reach out and let me know. I'd love to have you on the channel. Thank you so much for watching Burst TV. Stay tuned. We've got content rolling out three to four times a week. See you next time.